Hello, this is Diane. This is the third time I'm going to attempt this video. The first time my phone rang, the second time I ran out of space on my card. So I just went through and deleted all the videos that I've already uploaded. So now, hopefully, I'll be good. So what I'm doing is um, creating the cover for one of the junk um, glue books. And one of my customers requested that I show the process, even though I've done the process of creating covers. She said it's fun to watch the cover, watch the book being made, including the cover, and then to be able to receive it in the mail. So this is the one that if the giveaway winner selects a glue book, this is the one that will be sent out as the prize for that. So I'm going to show making this one. So what what I've already shown on video is that um, I think I'm going to use this bright cover, fa bright fabric for the spine cover because I just I wanted to make this a fun and bright journal. I brought over my clusters, my fabric clusters. I don't know if I'll use any in decorating this cover, but I brought them over. I brought some bright pieces of fabric to use if I so desire and just a little basket of small pieces. So I took this one and covered the bottom of this book because it was like this with the black marking along the back and then there's cellophane on both front and back. So I just took a strip of this fabric and covered the bottom and then added this at both as a decoration and to cover the cellophane and then I cut this piece from it was a fabric sample from a fabric sample book and I just made a little banner and covered up the cellophane there. I'm not covering the inside because I wanted to leave this and, and this looks pretty good. This side however doesn't look good so I am covering the back with this. So that's pretty much I think what I talked about in both of the videos that did not work out. Now that that's there, I can put this on to cover that. Now this will be covered up by the, the fabric on the spine. I thought this was scribbles at first, but it's a shadow. So I'm going to glue this piece on. Now I'm going to find some fabric to cover up the cellophane. I'm going to take a baby wipe and gently wipe this cover because it's got a paper covering on it and I don't want to rub too hard but I do want to get some of the surface dirt off. It's a very old book. I think it's from the 50s. Now, I'm going to look through these and see what I might have. The 
This one looks cute. How bright and colorful this back page is, back cover. And I want to do something different at the top. Let you see what I'm pawing through here. This is one of my muslin pieces that I colored with my inks and then stamped on a little bit. Just a scrap of it. scrap of it. I guess I take special care doing the covers because that's the first thing you're going to see. Even though this is the back cover, that's important too. This is another one that I colored and stamped on. Because this is here, I don't really want to have this one down here, but that's where the cellophane is. So if I bring that down, it just wraps around a little bit there, covers the cellophane, and then I can add this decorative piece over here. this.
slap this little piece on. too much I'll rub the paper right off. Alright so there's the cover decorated. I'll move all these things out of my way so I can construct the cover. I might want to add a little bit of rickrack to it too but I can do that later. That would be fun, just to add a little bit of rickrack. In fact, I'm going to add some right now, right there. Just adds a little something, something. Now I have a piece of chipboard and here is a mess. Okay, these are the pages for this book, I believe. Chipboard and Tyvek is what I was trying to say. I already had a piece here. But I'm going to put away these other books that I'm working on so they're not in my way and they're not getting messed up. chipboard and my tie back. I got it out so I would have it handy for when I do this video. And I don't see it anywhere. Well that's annoying. Sorry, off the camera. I guess I'll have to get a, no a new one so I don't waste your time while I search for what I already had. Okay, I'm going to grab a chipboard. There's that. Tyvek envelope. Sorry about that. 
normally I have my um, uh, my book all done, my pages all done with the envelopes, embellishments, and whatnot in them, so I know how much, how big I need to make the spine. But these are going to be decorated after they leave here. You are going to fill them up with your images. So I am going to make this spine so that you have plenty of room. I think I'll make it two and a half inches. And it will look rather empty when you get it, but you will quickly fill it up. If you start gluing in it. And again, with these glue books, I'm going to put together a small packet of images that you can use in your glue book. Pieces from books and magazines and whatnot. And if, if like Gail, you have plenty of your own and don't want me to send you more stuff, just let me know. You don't have to have the packet. Gail didn't want a packet because she has plenty of her own stuff and didn't want more stuff. Oh, now my dryer is done. It has this feature where it'll keep, it's an anti-wrinkle feature, so it'll keep um, tumbling and buzzing at me every now and then. It'll sit still for a while and then it'll start tumbling and then it'll buzz to remind me. For half an hour it'll do that. I usually don't let it usually real good about <clears throat> tending to it right away. But I'm busy right now. And I don't want to stop this video again. So you saw I just measured the length of it by measuring it with the book cover. paper overhang seems to be there in the middle where I can't really get to it very well but it makes the makes it look like it's not cut straight because the paper is hanging over more there but it's fine it'll be fine don't worry about it and then I'm going to take my Tyvek envelope and cut it down where the seam is Cut across the bottom, cut the flap off, and Looks like this section right here might be about the right width. It might be a little bit wide, but I'm going to cut it there. I can trim it down if I need to. Good. I'll take my red tape For the spine piece, I'm going to put it at the top and the bottom also.
Now, peel the red liner off. And I use my grid on my mat here to line it up square. Let's put a little tiny space between the pieces so that they have room to bend. And I will take my Tyvek piece and lay it right on top of all that adhesive. Now they're all joined together. The next step is to take my fabric. I think I used this fabric in a glue book on a glue book spine the last time I made glue books on a red one. Um, and I just, let me see, I want to make sure this is straight. Yeah, looks pretty good. So I'm going to cut this to the right width. I don't want it to be too wide, but I want it to have enough that it's going to hang on to both sides, the front and the back. Knocked you for a loop there. Not quite wide enough, actually, because I forgot to measure it against the Tyvek that was inside, but I'm going to put something along the edges of that, so we'll cover up that Tyvek. I don't know why I like to have the small piece at the bottom of the book so that this piece, so that the selvage of this piece is facing down rather than up. It's just me, I guess. I just think it looks better that way. It's not even a selvage, it's a raw edge, which is why it looks better going down, I think. Ah, just rolled my bottle through the wet glue. Now I'm going to be even stickier when I pick it up and use it. This is kind of folded under there, so I'm hoping the glue will hold it down. Looking forward to doing a flip through of my gigantic glue book that I'm almost done with. I keep thinking I'm almost done with it and then I flip through it and see a little grouping of pages that I haven't done anything to yet. Like it's a never ending glue book. But whether it is completely done or not, I want to do a flip through of it before I list these. So 
so you feel inspired, hopefully. Sorry. I wish I could have use a setup where the phone where the camera is hanging over my space and looking down, but instead it's a camera, Canon camera, it's not a phone, right next to me on a tripod. So the angle is not as good as if it was looking down on my space. And I keep bumping it. But I used my phone for a few videos when I couldn't find the attachment to attach my camera to the tripod and the quality of the video is much nicer with this camera. My, buzz my dryer is still buzzing at me. Okay, I don't want to fold that up yet because I need the fabric to dry before I fold and make it move. So I'm going to quickly try to add some trim or something to the edges because my, again, flashlight, or I keep saying flashlight, it's the battery light is flashing on my camera. I'm looking for some trims. Maybe I want to use some colorful ones. If I have the right colors. Okay, here I come. I have this vintage piece. I don't know if it if it will work here, but I thought I'd try it for some fun. Yeah, I like that. That's cool, isn't it? I could decorate it after I sew the book together, but I might as well do it now while I'm doing a video of how I'm decorating my covers. I suppose I should go out and try to take a walk again today. I th I'm not sure if it's warmer today than it was yesterday. I said yesterday when we took our walk that it was cool, but it was actually cold. I think the high was 44 yesterday and the high today is supposed to be 40. Fahrenheit. Side. It has to be wide enough to cover that. Got this yellow, which I thought might be nice. 
if it's wide enough. And it is. Running out of Fabri-Tac. It's actually three in one glue. You still see a little bit of that library label there. Okay, there we have, this is, oh dear, it's too close to the fold in the spine. Okay, I still have to let that glue dry before I fold it. All right. <clears throat> Gonna look for a label for the inside of that. Just put that there, and the owner can write their name on it if they want to. Maybe the dates. I like to put on the inside of my journals, the ones that I write in. I don't think I've done it to my glue books, the dates that I work in it. All right, so there is one cover done. So maybe this evening I can sew the pages in. And I may do videos showing the decoration of the other journals, but probably not the construction, because you've seen me do it. Okay. I like it. It's fun. It's got lots of stuff going on, but a glue book has lots of stuff going on on the inside. So that works. All right, I'm going to go take care of my dryer, and I will be back with you hopefully later decorating some more journal covers. Bye.